Okay, back we're gonna do a little non brick related toy. Come on, focus. Um we're gonna do this thing that I picked up today at the shop. It is uh the Texas Instruments Learning Center Spelling Bee that I this is the nineteen eighty version, so it actually came out in nineteen seventy eight, but there's a modified version. Uh, they're looking at the box on the front. You'd think it was the 78 version. As you will see, there is a slight difference from the picture. Uh, but I've already tried this and it works. Um, but I was quite like Jeff. They got this pretty cheap. And this comes in the original box. And the box is in pretty good shape. So you can't, you can't say too much. Uh, it has a few tears and, and things. Probably going to make me worse um, from doing this. But hey... Uh, so we'll take out oh, the actual game thing, we'll just plonk it on here. It came with uh, service information and warranty stuff, and there's the thing. So you can see actually that it is slightly different from the picture on the front of the box. Uh, I will give you a few seconds to notice that. Actually, there's a couple of differences. Uh, this one doesn't have Texas Instruments on the bottom, and it's missing the musical note, which I think is the major difference between the two. When I looked it up online, there was a big difference. Uh, and it says, like, I looked it up on the calculators dot, you know, there's little, like websites that tell you about calculators. And um, it says copyright 1978. You can't see it, but on the back it says copyright 1978. But the thing is, is it says it has this, the, the, the speech chip from the speak and spell, which I do have a speak and spell, like I have an original speak and spell, I just have put it away somewhere, and I was going to do a video on it one day, in a box like this, pretty good shape, uh, but this one, as far as I can tell, does not talk, so I don't understand the point of having that in it, but there you go, it does have one more part, so we'll just have to take this out, so this comes out there, and that's, that's all that's in the box. That I, that I have, and then you open this up, I've cleaned this up slightly, it was a little bit grubby, uh, and I say I say slightly with like complete truthfulness, and so anyway, the only real problem with this, it's in good shape, but the little door is a bit, a bit broken, uh, but this is all fine-ish, so I shall use my trusty Duracell battery, which I took out of uh, a smoke detector a few days ago when it started going off for no reason, uh, it hasn't done that yet <laughs> since, so with a new battery. So I think the battery's fine. I think it was just having uh, a bad day. Uh, 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 uh. Actually, it was a bit like, it was an old school, like, um, not an optical one, like the, radi the, the radioactive ones. Um, and I'm like, why do I still have that? I thought I was going to switch over to uh, anything. Well, I don't know. I have quite a few smoke detectors. I should add up. I've got quite a few more I should put up. Just for the just for the heck of it. Uh, how come this does not as fit as well as I as I remember it? Well it doesn't actually I don't I don't actually have to put it. I'm not gonna I'm not actually gonna I think the wire is supposed to go on the bottom. We'll try it that way. <laughs> we'll put it use alkaline nine volt battery only. Uh, well it's not Oh, it doesn't really okay. Well, that that's a, that's a fail point. Doesn't it? Doesn't matter. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna play it. I didn't actually play it before properly. So these things here. So you can see it's a bit grubby. It didn't really work my cleaning. It's got some holes. So that can just go there. And that can go there. All right. So now we've got it like the picture on the front of the book. And then you've got some extra information. Dear parent, traditionally children must learn to write before they can start learning. Uh, well, I can read a bit of that later on. Okay, so anyway, how it works. I think this is how it works. You turn it on. And so that's that's definitely not talking. That's not talking to me. And then, well, how does it go? You go, go. It says nine. So I have to turn to page nine. So that's a web. W. Uh, e. B. All right, and then I go go. Is that right? Or did I not read the instructions? I think I need to read. Wait, I have to go. I have to go enter. Wrong. Okay, that's because it's six. Because I'm upside down. Okay, it says nine. That's a pig. 
All right, we can do this. <laughs> we can do this. Peg, enter. And I won. I won everything. I, I won all the awards. This is 10. 10 is zero. Is it zero or is it numbers? Or is it whole numbers or natural numbers? I don't know which is which. And uh, I keep thinking about that. Like, I don't know if everyone gets taught, like, you know, what natural numbers and whole numbers, like, one includes zero and one doesn't. And it's like when you're an adult, it's just integers. Integers, you don't you don't care about oh my, why? Why? So anyway, we're gonna go zero this is uh and enter. Right. Ah uh, well anyway, you can do some other things too. You can do um mystery word. I did that before. That was quite fine. I think this is asking for what level you want. Is that is that asking for? I don't know. I should read the instructions, and then we're going to go into go, uh, and then I have to pick out a word. And it's actually harder than it looks. Like all the words that they've given me are like E doesn't work, I doesn't work, O O does work, <laughs> C L R U. Is it foul or something? Nope. Uh, what's it going to be? I did all the, I've done all the vowels. Oh no, what am I going to supposed to do now? Something O oh, something L. Uh, what? What's going to go? An S? A Y? Colt. No, that's that. No, how you spell the word colt. Um. We'll try it. Oh, no, I've done it out. So try it, yes. No. I've only got four left. Oh, I didn't do A. Did I do A? Nope. <laughs> uh, did I do U or not? I actually can't remember. Well, it's too late now. And we did E. I did that. So I don't understand. Ah, W. All right. Foul is spell. All right. Okay. It's going to be foul. Nope. <laughs> Owl. Well, then, well, well, tell, so, roll, pal, now, 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 cow, now, yo, cow, why is it not if? Bowl? Yay! <laughs> That was that was harder than it looks. Anyway, that was the game. It's pretty exciting. But I have quite a few of these actually. I've been collecting up these Texas instrument thingies. I've got some math ones and I've got the speak and spell. The thing I really want, I was actually watching watching bits from Halt and Catch Fire. Cause I was thinking, well, I've watched most of Mr. Robot and I kinda wanna watch more like you know, hackery things. And I did try and watch Holton and Catch Fire like ages ago. But I remember in that, in the first episode or the second episode, he's tr one of the guy characters is trying to fix a, uh, uh, Mr. Professor or something, I think it's called. It's a little math. Um, not called Mr. Professor. It's called Professor something, rather. Uh, it's a little math game. It's the same sort of thing as the, these ones, but it has a different display. I think it's Texas Instrument. I think it's the same, like, series of things that's the one that i really want because i had one as a kid and i really enjoyed it and i like the little bubble bubble uh screen thing that it had on that uh so that's the thing i'm really looking forward to but this was pretty cool i thought this was pretty good for the amount of money that i paid for which was not that much and i'm sure i could sell it on the internet for slightly more than i bought it for uh which always makes me feel bad because when you go to a shop and you buy something and you're like i could sell this for more than i buying for it now I feel like I'm a bad because I go all the time and they must be like they recognize me and they're like I bet you the, they, they think I'm selling things off but they don't seem like upset so I'm not selling things off I just collect these random bits and pieces anyway thanks for watching I have nothing else to say uh, but that was Texas Instruments spelling the that doesn't talk even though apparently this model has the speech chip from the I should do a take it I should take it apart but I'll do that on my other channel uh, thanks for watching just to double check that it actually does have the speech chip. Bye.